Hello guys, this is the Florian 500 watt hour uh, generator. I bought it off of eBay for a really good price of just $265, which is really about half the price of the other generators that are online. They usually go for about $100 per 100 watt hours. So like for a thousand watt hours, it would cost you a thousand dollars. So this is 500 watt hours. You can see this is the front panel. The charger is right here. That's to charge it with DC uh, 12 to 24 volts, and it comes with a uh, it comes with a charger. These are the solar inputs here, and this is your 12 volt cigarette lighter. It's got three USB ports, one USB Type C, and one 110 volt AC. And to get any of these to work, you just have to press the button. So you see, I press the button for the 12 volt. It says the battery is at 12.3 volt. That's the internal battery. It has a it has a lithium battery inside here. I think it's a 4, 4S battery. Is it 3S or 4S? I'm not sure. But um, that's what gives you the power. And it's supposed to be 500 watt hours. We'll test it and see how much we actually get. They also make this one in 300 watt hours as well. And I know that usually you're not gonna get the full capacity, but hopefully we can get at least maybe 400 out of this. So you should just turn it off when you're done. And then if you wanna use the USB, you press there. And it says USB right here. And then if you want to use the 110, you just press there. And when you press 110, it turns on a fan and that's the inverter kicking on. And then it also has a light. This is kind of cool. If you press and hold here, it's a light. It's pretty bright. It actually has uh, three brightness settings. And the, even the lowest one is pretty bright. And then it has a flashing signal. And then just hold it again to turn it off. It has a nice carrying handle here. Here's the back of it, if you want to read the specs here. Okay, I've got it on my scale. It says 11.4 pounds. So it also came with this charging cable. This is the 110 volt to barrel plug DC adapter. And this is just like a standard laptop charger. It's output 19 volts, 3.42 amps. So you could probably just charge this thing with a, a normal laptop charger if you have the right barrel plug and then it also came with a USB-C to USB-C the reason for that is because this actually has power delivery so you should actually be able to power a notebook laptop using this just directly DC to DC for power delivery I'm gonna try that with my HP NV13T and let's hope that it works without blowing anything up because this laptop is actually this laptop actually came with a a regular barrel plug for a charger but then on the USB ports it, it has a power it has a lightning function on the USB-C like it's a power delivery and I look into some of the manuals and it says it has power delivery so I'm wondering if you can charge it more than one way we'll, we'll find out if, if I can charge it via USB-C using this power bank another thing cool thing it came with is it came with the car adapter this allows you to charge this generator via your 12 volt cigarette lighter in your car, which is really nice. So you can take it on the road and charge it up while you're going. Okay, let's try to turn some stuff, uh, plug some stuff in and see how it works. So you see right now the battery voltage is 12.3 and since this is a 3S lithium battery, we know that's 4.1 volts per cell. So that's about a 90% charge or so on the, on the battery inside. And I just turned on the 110 volt, so let's plug some things in and see how it works. Okay, I've got my kilowatt meter, so I can use this to tell how many watts it's pulling. Unfortunately, the plug is upside down here. It has the ground on top, and this one has the ground on bottom. So it's going to be upside down when I plug this in. Okay, let's plug in this wax lamp here. Okay, it says it's using 20 watts. Okay, you can see that works no problem. It would probably run this for, if it's if it's around 400 watt hours, it would run this for around 20 hours or so. Here's the manual for this. Um, the nice thing about this is that it is a pure sine wave inverter. So it's it's safe for things, it's safe to charge everything. You can charge, you know, your drones, your smartphones, your RC cars, computers, even things with electric motors. Like normally electric motors, you don't want to run them on uh, the modified sine wave inverters because it could damage them but here it even says you can use it for electric fans electric heaters now they have to be less than i think it's 250 watts 
Uh, you can run low power lights, refrigerators, audio. Okay, here it is right here, 500 watt hours. Input power, you can charge it at up to 100 watts and it can put out 250 watts of AC power. I think it can go over a little bit over that for a little while. Um, it probably has a surge of like 400 or 500. And then you can see here Type-C, it will actually do 60 watts uh, out of Type-C. And uh, pure sine wave, cycle life more than 800 cycles. I don't know about that, but that would be nice. If I can get like 500 cycles out of this, I'd be very happy with that. You can see 140,000 milliamp hours, 500 watt hours. Here's all the things that it came with, all the connections. Okay, this is gonna be the ultimate power test for this unit because it's rated at 250 watts. However, here's a rice cooker and this pulls a little bit more than the maximum. It's actually gonna put it into surge power a little bit. So we're gonna see how it does if we plug in this rice cooker. This rice cooker is rated at 300 watts. So here we go. Okay, you can see when it's on the warm setting. Oh, you guys can't see that. I just can't read the screen down there. Let me just pull this out. So right now it's at 36 watts and that's just on the warm setting. And when I go to cook, it's gonna go up to around 300 watts and we'll see if this thing shuts off or not. So here I go, I'm gonna put it to cook. Ready, set, go. Now it's on cook. It's pulling 292 watts. The fan on the generator is kicking on. So far it's, it's holding the load. We're above capacity right now. It's only rated 250. We're at 291, 290, 291. Sorry for the upside down readout again. You can see the battery voltage has dropped to 11.8 volts. When I first started, it was 12.2, 12.3 volts, something like that. So far it's working good. Uh, I am overloading this unit, so I don't know how long I want to do this for, because I don't want to destroy my brand new generator, but so far I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, guys. Okay, we're back to 36 watts. The fan is still running. Oh there, it just turned off. And you might be able to hear some noise in the background, that's my washing machine. I would say that's a pass. I don't know if I'd want to cook a full pot of rice with this unit, but maybe if you had to, you could. I'm not sure if it would shut off at some point. Very nice so far. Next up, we're gonna try the laptop with USB-C charging. Okay, here's the USB-C charging cable. We'll go ahead and plug that in. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna turn off AC and I'm gonna turn on USB. I'll plug in to there. On the other side I'm going to plug into here. And the light on the laptop is on, which would probably indicate that it's charging. Okay, let's hope that's working. I'm just going to leave that plugged in for a few minutes and see if, see if it works. Now, for those of you who do use USB-C chargeable laptops, that's how you want to go about it because if you charge off of your AC power brick, you're having to do a lot of voltage conversion because this unit does DC and then you're converting it to AC with your charging brick and then it's converting it back to DC again for the laptop. So you're doing two conversions, which means that you're losing a lot of power in the process. This is pretty much taking battery power directly from this generator and just inserting it directly into the battery in this uh, laptop. So it's basically just going battery to battery in DC, which means it's much more efficient. So this is the way you want to charge a laptop if your laptop has USB-C charging. Here you see I've got the little lighthouse running on AC as well as my laptop is charging via USB-DC at the same time. So this unit can easily handle multiple different loads.
So again, here's my laptop being charged with uh, USB-C. You see the light is still on over here and it's charging. It, it's really slow charging though via USB-C. I guess it doesn't put out as much power as the, the normal power brick that I would use, but it does help keep it charged because we're at 89% and it says 43 minutes until fully charged. So that's gonna be really slow. So it'll be enough to keep the laptop running, but it won't really charge the battery that much if you're using the laptop at the same time. All in all guys, I would give this a recommendation. I would say it's a good backup battery to have, assuming with the one caveat, assuming that you're not gonna be using more than 250 watts. This thing won't be able to run a lot of like heating appliances such as irons and uh, heaters and things like that. But if you're just running basic appliances, things that use less than 250 watts, then, uh, then it should work just fine for you. If you guys wanna see anything else about this unit, let me know. I'll probably be doing some more tests with it and probably be posting some more videos. Overall, so far, I'm very pleased with this unit for the cost. Again, I got this off at of eBay for $265, and it's the 500 watt hour Florian uh, power uh, generator, and it's powered by lithium ion batteries.